Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're here and we're gonna meet and talk to Letty. And uh, Letty, you have an amazing story, but first you have a YouTube channel, I understand? I do, it's called Living Life with Letty. And everyone, go check out her channel and, and see what she's got going there. And so how did you end up out here living in a, a really nice Transit Connect? Well, uh, a year ago, uh, around Thanksgiving time, I was uh, very depressed and bedridden, and uh, I had given hope that, you know, I, I you know, anyway. So I, I just happened to come across a YouTube video of this man that looks like Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> and he was interviewing a lady named Dee in the desert, and she was living in her car. And she also has disabilities. And I thought, well, if she can do it, I can do it. So I told my grandson to help me. I had a SUV at the time, and I told him, help me make a bed, because I'm gonna go traveling in my SUV. Well, some lady rammed into it while it was parked, and it totaled. So when the insurance company paid me, I went and got my little van, which is what I wanted anyway. So it all worked out. It all worked out. And is this a new one or a used No, one? it's a 2013. It had 94,000 miles when I got it, and now it has 104. I've put 10,000 miles, and, and it's all been traveling because when I'm home, I'm retired, so I really don't go anywhere. So it's I put 10,000 in uh, one year just traveling. And so you've kept your home and a home base. Yes. And these are trips for you. Yes, yes. But it gets you out and keeps you moving. And it keeps me moving and it gives me something to look forward to. You know, it, it's, it's a good thing. And you've been faced with some, some disabilities here in your older age. Yes, I have rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, it has really affected my hands more than anything. My hands are uh, completely deformed. So are my feet, so are my knees now. They're, they're not the way they used to be. Uh, but that didn't stop me. What I've had to do is rig it so that it's doable for me. And so I've learned to do that. So there are probably folks at home who are facing issues, health issues and right. difficulties in life. And what's your advice to them? Uh, well, do if you want to do it, do it. Figure out a way to do it so that it's comfortable for you. Uh, a lot of people are going to tell you, do it this way, do it that way. No, because maybe how they do it is not going to work for you. So you have to figure out a way that it's going to be okay for you to do it and then if you if you and and you know i'm on social security and uh i'm on a very limited budget but i i got a little four cylinder because it's 30 miles to a gallon wow. so i knew i could afford that and uh, I, and it's really not that difficult it was at the beginning because I was doing everything wrong. My first trip, I went to Flagstaff for two months and I was miserable. I didn't have any type of insulation at all. It gets really cold up there in the mountains. I didn't have the right clothing, and but I learned. I learned the hard way. So then now I'm much better prepared. Good. Yeah, Good. so it'll be hard at first, but I think as every trip that I do, it's becoming easier and easier for me. And um, were you scared for your safety the first time around? No, I've never been scared. I don't, I just never, I grew up in LA. I worked <laughs> in the ghetto, you know? <laughs> and so I've never really been scared. I make sure that I, if I'm in a, a truck stop, I park under a light and I lock my doors. If I'm in a rest area, I check uh, to see the comments. Most rest areas you could, and, and if the comments are good, then I'm comfortable. And because I have handicap plates, I park in the handicap, which is very close to the bathrooms. And so, and it's usually underneath a light. That's the main thing. I think, you know, don't go and park in a vacant lot in the dark because then you are a target. But if you're somewhere where it's very well lit and there are other people 24 hours a day, I, I, you know, the, I'm not saying that something couldn't happen, but your chances are much less that something would happen. Right. So you just have to use your instinct, your gut feeling, and go with that. And when you decided to do this, uh, were you afraid you wouldn't make friends or that you would be lonely? 
Well, I was very lucky my first trip because I already had my channel. It was very small at the time. Uh, this gentleman by the name of Robert Vandenbrink emailed me, oh, because I wanted solar, but I couldn't afford it. I had called places in Austin where I'm from and they wanted like $1,400 for a little battery and a 100 watt panel. And he said, if you can make it to Arizona, I will install it for you for free. So when I went to Flagstaff, I already had one connection and then there were a lot of people there. So he introduced me to them. So right away I had friends. So I was lucky that way. Well, I think most people find they're lucky that way. If they, if you go to areas, if you get online and look around, if you go to areas where you know people are already camping, right, it's pretty easy to make those connections. Yes, yes, and I have made so many friends, wonderful friends, that uh, you know I wouldn't have if I would have stayed at home, because I really didn't have. I had one friend at home. Sad to say, but that's the truth. <laughs> And you said earlier that you were kind of just staying home and depressed and lying in bed. And, yes. And so what happened that you were able then to get out of that bed and come out here and drive? I, th uh, I think it was knowing the idea that I could do something because nothing, nothing interested me. Um, I used to crochet, can't do it anymore because of my hands. I used to go walking a lot, now it's hard for me. So everything that I used to do, I wasn't able to do. But when I saw these video, I thought, well, my goodness, uh, I can drive and um, I can do that and I can get in and go to bed and I can do those things, the same things I'm doing at home, but I can do them outdoors. I'm getting sunshine and I'm meeting people. Right. So that's what motivated me that it, it felt like it was something that I could do because most of the other things that I used to do, I can't do anymore. So, uh, so you've kind of gone from depressed and house laden to wild and adventurous. That's right, <laughs> very wild and adventurous, yeah. So that person was in there and trapped in this body that just couldn't get up and go. Right, right, yeah, it was, and, and um, I hear a lot from my subscribers that are my age or older that they're in similar situations. So it's very common for seniors today to become alienated and to become housebound. It's hard to make friends when you are our age, unless you're in a community of people that are your age. Mm -hmm. So I, a, a lot of them tell me that I'm inspiring them, which makes me feel really good because somebody else inspired me. So now I'm paying right. it forward. Passing it along. Yeah, yeah. That's the way life is best. Yes, yes, exactly. So, and anybody who, like I said, if you feel that it's, because this isn't for everybody either, you know, but if you feel that this is something for you, just do it, you know, do it because you can. If I can do it, you can do it. And, and tell us again your YouTube channel. My, the name of my YouTube channel is Living Life with Letty, L-E-T-T-Y. Very good. Living Life we'll with Letty. We'll check it out. Well, would you mind if we took a look at your van? Not at all. Okay, so this is the back of the van. I do have some curtains, but I also have one inch foam board. Let me, let me go over here so you can see. One inch foam board covered with fleece, which really keeps the cold out. Uh, when I touch here, even if it's 30 degrees, I don't feel any cold at all. Very nice. And um, this bed, I would have liked it a little bit higher because your regular standard bins don't fit in there. But, you know, maybe someday I'll raise it. Just like two inches is all I need. And um, I have a six inch memory foam mattress, which I had to cut because I made the bed 5'2". I'm 5'1", so the bed is just long enough for me and the mattress was longer. And then I do have a 12 volt heating blanket. Oh, that's nice. And I really haven't had to use it since the insulation of just the windows and the sides. And then I also have, which my friend Tammy, um, this is a down comforter. And with this and this, I'm fine. I, I was, uh, it was 30 degrees when I left Austin at night and I wasn't cold at all. These I saw on one of your videos and this is where all my clothes are. Mm -hmm. And these um, uh, cushion covers. 
So they just unzip and there's storage. <laughs> yep, and I have all my clothes. I have four of them. Um, this is a mock Jackery. It's not a real one, but you know, it, it works. Um, it's only like 240 watts or something. It's good to for the phone and for little things. Mm -hmm. Here I keep, this, this was given to me by a subscriber named Mary, and I keep some food in here. I don't have a refrigerator, so I have to, you know, wing it. I have I'll just uh, like plates and cups and just miscellaneous. And then we'll see the other two on the other side. And um, That's a nice little table there. This little table was done by a young man that I met on Craigslist. And uh, you know what? It, it works. It works and I can sit and do what I need to do. And does it fold away? It could, but now with the installation it doesn't, but I never do because right. I have to take everything out and, and I keep the water there so I don't, you know, it's, it's just stationary for me. Right. And then here I have um, the regular socket that goes to my car battery mm -hmm. and this one goes to the house battery because I do have a 100 watt um, battery mm -hmm. and a 100 watt foldable panel for my solar. And, you know, that's really all I need. The, uh, the Max fan was a gift from a subscriber. And, um, and so I had to have it uh, installed. And I had a hard time finding someone in Texas. Hard time. But I finally found a young man in Waco. Nobody wanted to cut a hole in the roof. Right. They're afraid. And I finally found he did a really good job. So my roommate did this. And this really helps because, you know, I have like cooking stuff here. I have some snacks here. Down below, I have like bungee cords and things that I may need. Um, here, uh, I have how I go to the bathroom. And I know you're going to ask me that. Yes, I so am. So I might as well tell you. Uh, because I don't have room for a potty chair and because I can't sit low in a in a... In a bucket what i did was this is a regular bedpan right right out of a hospital and then i have uh, puppy pads and what i do is in case of an accident i put a puppy pad on top of the bed i lay this on top of the bed and then i put the bedpan i cover it with a plastic bag i sit on it and I do my business. Right. And then I just, you know, grab the plastic bag and, and then I keep everything in here. I have all my bags in here. I keep two, you know, two different kinds of bags and, and I double bag it. In the other bin there where we can't see, it's going to be really hard. But that's where I keep my coffee pot, which is uh, one of these French press. And I keep my coffee and my creamer, everything to make coffee because I have to have coffee in the morning. So I have it very handy. So I don't have to be digging for anything. I keep my water here. I can have three gallons here and then one gallon up there. So I usually have four gallons of water. Um, this is my laundry. I keep my laundry bag in here. This is my step stool. And that's how I get in. I know a lot of people say, well, use a rope. But the thing is, <laughs> because my hands, things slip out of my hands all the time. If I use a rope and I'm up here and the rope falls, I have to get back down. And so this works the best because this is not gonna fall. This is a mess here. I have some food. I have a jacket. I have an extra blanket in case it gets cold, you know. Just uh, the normal things of life. Exactly. What we, what we all have in a house or in a van. Yeah, and you know, I try to keep it organized, but, and on the other side of the bed, there's not a whole lot. I do have a gym bag uh, because I do have membership through Medicare uh, with a couple of gyms so I can go take a shower. So I have a gym bag ready to go with all the things I need for a shower. And that's about all that I can fit. Uh, how are you cooking? Um, I put my stove 
See my stove on top of there? Mm -hmm. I put it right here. And that's it. I light it. Just a little butane stove. Yep. Easy, portable. Yep. And this is, you know, a little cutting board in case I need. I, I, you know, to tell you the truth, I, I don't cook a lot. I make things easy. Right. Uh, canned soups, top ramen, salads. I do eat a lot of tuna and salmon, the ones that come in the packages. Mm -hmm. I make sandwiches. I try to keep it simple because it's, it's very hard for me. And I take a lot of supplements and vitamins and minerals. And I figure, you know, I eat a lot of fruit. I always have bananas and grapes and things on hand so that I feel like I'm eating somewhat healthy. But I try not to make my life too complicated. Right, that's the key. Yeah, because if it gets complicated, then you then you tend to give up. My life has changed. Even my children can't believe it. My life has changed 100% from where, where it was over a year ago. Uh, over a year ago, really, I kind of lost the will to go on because uh, I was in pain all the time. I had retired. I felt like I had no purpose whatsoever. I used to wake up in the morning and go, why am I even here? And now I can't wait to get up in the morning to plan my next trip or to do a video. The videos have helped me a lot too. The comments from the subscribers have kept me going, uh, given me more motivation to keep going. So it's, it's just, it's better than any doctor or any pill that I could have taken. And so you use, uh, because you're handicaps, you use a walker to move around and uh, you've made this one work for you really well. Yes, yes, I, I use the walker because I'm prone to falling. I fell three times in one year. And so with this, I feel a lot more secure, especially out here where it's rocky. But before I didn't have anywhere to put anything. And so I got this from Amazon and uh, it has nice pockets. I could have my water, my phone, uh, this in case I want to do a video. I have my banana here and uh, you know, there's plenty of room to put your keys, whatever else. And that way you don't have to carry a purse with you or anything. And then there's plenty of room for me to sit down and, and I have everything I need. And uh, let me tell you, this has been a lifesaver, especially because I have a hard time sitting in low chairs. I have a hard time getting up and I have to have people help me. With this, this is my chair, my walker, this is my everything. Mm -hmm. And so if you have mobility issues and you don't want to travel because you're afraid, bring your walker. So folks, I know you've been inspired by Letty. You just had to be. And so go right now and subscribe to her channel, Living Life with Letty. And thanks for watching. If you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Did you know that Bob has a Patreon page? You can find it at www.patreon.com slash cheap RV living. You'll find behind the scenes photos and videos, as well as some bloopers and some interesting short videos where you can learn more about Bob, as well as some longer, more in-depth interviews. You can also post your questions prior to the live feed, and you can get inspiration for your life on the road. Also, you can find drone footage of some of Bob's camps and places he visits. So please visit us at www.patreon.com slash cheaprvliving. We appreciate your support and we'll see you down the road.